Hello guys, this is Wesnator8810, I'm back again with another episode of Fishing Planet. Now, in the last episode you saw me do the Panarin Exploration 1, so we've got some shrimp and a bit of cash and bake coin. Well, obviously in today's episode I should technically go for the uh, Panarin Exploration 2, or the Panarin Trial. Unfortunately, I haven't really got a big enough net to keep the flathead catfish or the long nose gar. I do have a big enough keep net to keep the carp. Unfortunately, the flathead catfish and the long nose gar can be pretty big. And unfortunately, my keep net can't exactly hold it. It's a 5.5, as you see there, as a single max fish. So if I come fishing here, I won't be able to catch them. So. I may be doing this one, but I'm going to do this one to do with the purposes of the actual missions in its set. So, we're going to go for the unique Naren, uh, Ren. We're going to go for the unique uh, Red Ear Fish. So, equipped a match rod with Bloodworm and a Hook 1. So, we're going to hook these with a Hook 1. Not hook 1. And again, hook one. And bloodworm. Bloodworm. It just look a bit bigger than a normal one hook, but no. So we're going to activate this mission, which we've done. Just take a little. Go to the waterway, so we've got to go to a specific location, which is around here. So into the rocky blues, which we're going to go into. Right, set the best time for getting bites, okay? Just gonna make us go to eight. So get close to the walkway. Which we are. And it's gonna make us cast to a set location. So uh, we should be about the right depth still. Obviously we've still got at the fifty, I think. Maybe it's minus a bit of tension. This, yeah, this seems promising. It's definitely on the trophy scale. It's only unique, it's another matter though. Yeah, I might consider it to be unique. How much that's fighting, yeah. I'm going to say this is a unique, more than a trophy. So this one might take me a little bit of time. I can't believe how many of these I've had to catch before I start bringing this one in. Again, I'm still using the starter rod. I can't believe I'm still able to get fishing with the starter rod. This is Niren. Don't worry, I'm not going to try and go against the stronger fish with this rod because this is just going to be insane. Um, I'm pretty much sure I am. I have, have got a unique on my rod. Yeah, that has definitely got to be unique because of the way that's fighting. Yeah, this one's definitely unique. Can't drag up. Wow, well, this one's actually going to be a bit of a tough one to bring in. Well, I definitely got that fight on it. Um, wow, that is actually taking out my line. I did not expect that. Actually, I kind of did, but I didn't expect it to be this much. I'm going to do a quick flick and retrieval. It can sometimes work when these fish. It's literally, you just quickly flick your hook apart, and it can sometimes make the fish turn, and you can bring it in. As you can see, it's working slightly.
finally brought in that unique fish. Whew, that knocked me out. Jeez, that was knackering. Let's keep you. And we've overfilled my net, which is even better. And we've got the challenge done. You know, and you've, you'll become a real trophy collector in no time. Yeah, at least we've got the trope. Even though it's not actually a trophy fish, it's unique. You know, it's a real trophy keeper. I'm sorry, you should put a real unique collector. In no time, you know, but trophy makes no sense. Anyway, I know a few people are like, well, hold on, what rod did you just use? And again, I'm using the basic setup. Now, obviously, I did use the Nero for a little bit, but I was using my Teleflow with the mini spear. You know, a basic rod setup, and I still brought them in. Um, obviously, I had to use the one hook with bloodworms, and I brought that in. So that mission is now bye, a beautiful time done with. Woo! Um, but yeah, I can't believe that took me as long as what it did. I was hoping it wouldn't have taken as long. Anyway, uh, hopefully you enjoyed today's episode, guys. If you did, as you all know by now, please do hit that like button. If, if you haven't already, please do subscribe because obviously I'm going to do some more or a lot more of the fishing planet content for the PC. Obviously this does work also for the consoles guys so just don't think oh what works on the PC doesn't work on consoles. It does. There will be a slight few differences and variants and the locations or spawn rates because they can be a little bit different as I have explained. Sadly I am going to try and do the next snow and river exploration but without a bigger keep net. Now I would advise you Um, if I was you by now guys, if you want to make sure you don't really lose too much money, I'd wait till you could hold a flathead catfish or a long nose guy now, just in case anyone was wondering. A common carp, you now the biggest obviously is absolutely fine, you can save five pound fish, so the net you've got, or if you use the same net, is going to hold the common carp. Now, if I looked at the flathead catfish, and we're going to go for... We'll have a look at the young. How oh, funny. It's a flat catfish. There's no young. So if we go for the common. Now so this gives you basically the heaviest one. Now, unfortunately there's no way to say the smallest. So I'm going to say the smallest is probably going to be 21 pounds. We'll say 22 pounds anyway. Might be a bit smaller. Uh, can be about I think. 13 pounds. It's probably near enough one of the smallest flathead catfish and get on Heron River. Now, long nose gar. I'll go for young. There ain't no young. Common. Uh, six pounds. You might get away with maybe there being a five pounds. So, yeah, technically you might be alright. Like I say, it's just going to be the flathead catfish for this location that we have to worry about when we're doing that mission. But anyway, like I say guys, I'll be back with you guys for the next episode. Obviously, I'm still going to be using my standard gear as you see now. It's just so I save a bit of time and a bit of money. But anyway, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode. And I'll see you back on the lake. And we're going to catch the rest of these fish. See you out there. Happy casting and cast far. Straight and true, guys. Bye for now.